So recently, there was some controversy surrounding Hollywood actor Idris Elba and his wife, Sabrina, after Idris announced that he tested positive for the virus. And, you know, as at the time, they did not say if uh, Sabrina had it or not. But eventually, we found out that, oh, now she has it. And there was just a whole lot of conversation surrounding that. Likewise, David Doe, who recently announced that uh, though himself and his entire gang, including his fiance Choma, got tested without having any symptoms, um, it was only Choma that tested positive and she's now in self-isolation. And these two situations got me thinking. Whilst others were arguing over certain things or certain issues surrounding these two couples, I was thinking of the relationship lessons <laughs> that I could learn from these two couples. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to share those with you. All right? Let's get started. Let me introduce you. Hey you, oh hi, if it's your first time here, my name is Adenike or Oluri Esho. On this channel, I create content that relates to love, marriage, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those, please subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos, thumbs up this video, and leave a comment down below in the comment section letting me know that you are a new subscriber, all right? Thank you. Before I get into the conversation, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're sanitizing and washing your hands. I hope you're staying at home. If you have no business outside, please stay home. Let us do everything that we can to keep this thing from spreading any further. All right. So what happened? Recently, with everything that has been going on, Idris Elba announced that he tested positive for the virus and whilst he was making the announcement in a video his wife sabrina was right next to him like literally <laughs> right next to him in the video right and at the time he did not say if sabrina had it or not or if she also got tested or not but much later down the line in a conversation a live conversation with oprah they revealed that or oh, sabrina eventually got tested and she tested positive and this was after she decided to stay with him so apparently as at the time Idris tested positive they were not together okay they were apart and I think Sabrina was on her way to meet him when they found out that oh he had tested positive but even at that they still had that conversation and decided that you know what it's okay still come over even though as at the time she most probably did not have it and so she still went to meet him stayed with him in self-quarantine or they quarantined themselves together and in the process she got it right and now that led to a lot of conversations about how that was a very selfish de decision for him to have made considering the fact that it's a life-threatening uh issue that's at stake he shouldn't have allowed her to come over she shouldn't have gone over there to meet him she should have stayed away from him that would have been a better message and all of that that situation got me thinking like hmm as a couple i wonder what was going on in their minds when they decided to make that decision to stay together meanwhile nigerian musician davido also announced on his instagram page that because they just got back from the u.s you know they were in the u.s for his tour and all of that whilst his fiance chioma and their baby were in london so he said because they were in an high risk area or because they were in a high risk country when they got back to nigeria they decided to get tested and after everybody got tested it was only Choma that tested positive thankfully their baby did not test positive so it was only Choma that tested positive and that Choma is now in self-quarantine he is in self-isolation with the baby I'm supposing so I'm assuming that they are apart right now and they're just doing everything they can to ensure that Choma recovers quickly and she's fine and nothing happens and all of that the video situation was also attacked from different angles but once again I got thinking relationship lessons <laughs> from this couple so having looked at these two situations and these two couples and even Tom Hanks and his wife who both tested positive while they were in Australia whilst he was shooting a movie I've picked out five <laughs> relationship lessons that I believe that we can all learn from these couples and their situations number one lesson is that sometimes even when you're married even in your marriage or your relationship it is okay to be selfish right let me explain what i mean by being selfish 
right now i'm assuming most probably if not for anything for the sake of their baby davido and choma are separated they are apart because Choma tested positive and he didn't so they are not together at the moment that might seem like a selfish decision to some people that oh he's not there to support her you know he's not he's not being with her uh, and all of that but you have to realize that it's not just about them anymore there's a baby in the mix they're, they're, they have a responsibility now they can't just say oh because we love each other and he's ride or die and is <laughs> do or die or for better for worse we are going to catch all catch the virus together and we're going to leave and no 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 it don't work like that <laughs> so it's okay for Choma to say you know what Davido or David or whatever she calls him uh take the baby go stay with your dad I'm going to stay with stay alone here or stay alone in this room or however self-quarantine works and just recover and then come back and take care of you guys you know it's okay for the video to also say to Shema that you know I want to be with you but I can't be with you through this situation because we have a responsibility we have a child and so for the sake of our love for the sake of our relationship for the sake of our baby let me stay with the baby whilst you recover and I think it's okay so whilst that might look like a selfish decision on Davido's part like oh he's selfish to want to be away from her now when she needs him the most when you really think about it you realize that there is more at stake than just love you know and that's why when they say that love is not enough or don't get carried away with the whole razzmatazz because when life starts happening you'll be making certain decisions that might ne not necessarily be in your own personal favor or even in the favor, favor of your partner but at the end of the day that will still be okay because you're considering someone else that is extremely crucial to your marriage or your relationship and that is going to lead me into the second point which is that sometimes it is best not to be selfish it is okay to be selfless in your marriage in your relationships take a look at the situation between idris and sabrina both of them together they don't have kids yet right i'm 80 percent certain let me not say 100 percent certain but i'm 80 percent certain that if they have a child together sabrina would not have made that decision to go be with him but because they don't have a child together like the situation of davido and choma she decided you know what i want to be there for him i want to, i don't want him to experience this alone i don't know how this is going to turn out i want to go through this journey to him i want to fight this illness with him i want to do you understand that was what she decided that was what they both decided and that was what she must have decided too because at the end of the day she could have easily said oh you know i'm just going to stay away and just so both of us are not at risk and all of that and still i'm sure that would have been fine the world wouldn't have judged that oh she doesn't maybe the world still would have judged her anyway that oh she doesn't love him you know now that she need that he needs her she's somewhere somewhere away just like they're judging idris now for allowing her to come all the way to still come be with him and then eventually now she has so what happens god forbid if the situation turns out for you know not so good and all of that but at the end of the day again it goes back to my point that it's okay to be selfless it's okay to, to put the interest of the person you're with first and just think of yourself again i think i guess that is what it means to be in love and to be committed to someone and to have the best interest of someone at heart you know i don't know how everything went down i'm not part of their marriage you know i wasn't there when they had the conversation but at the end of the day you know the fact that she, they both decided to uh be together throughout that period i think you know it's commendable and it's okay in certain situations if you choose to be that selfless in your marriage or your relationship number three communication is extremely important in your marriage in your relationships take a look at the situation between idris and sabrina idris said they talked about it that was all i needed to hear okay <laughs> they had a conversation about it and they decided that 
okay, come be with me, Sabrina. <laughs> and they talk, you know, it wasn't just that he got off the phone with Sabrina and Sabrina was like, I'm gonna go surprise him. And then she jumps on the next available flight or whatever and then she happy. No, they had a conversation about it. Oh, what's in her best interest? Oh, how can you can you fare alone by yourself? Oh, are you going to be okay? Where are you even? Who is there? Who is going to be with you? Who is going to be around you? You know? And all the other details that they must have considered, all the other factors that they must have considered before deciding that Sabrina should come over and be with him. And when they were saying this to um, Oprah, Sabrina was there as well. It wasn't like it was Idris that was speaking for her. She was speaking for herself that she wanted to be with him through that period. Do you understand? So it wasn't the way the world was trying to paint it such that Idris is a selfish person for maybe making her still come over to meet him or allowing her and all of that. She's a grown woman. She, she grown, okay? She grown. <laughs> so the fact that she thought about it and still decided that, oh, I want to be with my husband and they had that conversation, I think that is extremely, extremely important. It's very crucial. It shouldn't be taking for granted the fact that this was an agreement that they both came to after talking about it number four especially for married couples for better for worse like in a reality <laughs> stuff happens stuff you know we we never pray for bad things we never pray for bad situations we never pray for bad experiences but imagine the situation between tom hanks and his wife and they both had it together what 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 what's she gonna do what well, was she gonna do? Or let's even look at uh, the situation between Idris and Sabrina where she didn't even have it at the time, you know, but she still decided that ah, ride or die, we, we, we died there together. <laughs> we finished on the line together. Do you understand? Like she still made that conscious decision. So it goes to tell you again that when you say for better or for worse or when you're telling someone that, oh, I'm 100% committed to you, ah, you should mean it, you know, like it goes a long way, you know, and I pray, I know by God's grace that all, all the couples involved in this situation are going to be just fine. The ones that tested positive are going to recover just fine and this will just most probably strengthen their relationships and marriages you know even as they go along this whole journey you know so yeah for better for worse guys keep that in mind number five last but definitely not the least only the two people involved in that relationship matter okay like only the man and the woman once they have a conversation once they talk about it only those two people matter whatever they agree whatever their conversations come down to whatever they agree uh on that is what matters what the world says doesn't matter i always tell you guys this in my in my uh other videos at the end of the day, it's just you and your partner. It's just you and the person you're with. So whatever both of you decide that, oh, this is what works for us, good for you. Carry on. Carry on. Don't let the world tell you otherwise. Don't let the world tell you this is how it should be done. You know, so I can understand that by the time people started uh, tumbling over themselves over Idris and Sabrina's issue they're probably just looking at it, looking at people like why is the world like this because at the end of the day they are the conversation they are the ones that are married it is their business you know as long as it works for both of them as long as it wasn't like one party was coerced into doing something they didn't want to do or was abused into doing something they don't want to do but it was that they had a conversation and they both came to that agreement together at the end of the day only the two people involved in that marriage in that relationship matter at the end of the day all right <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you think of these situations? What do you think of these issues? Well, did, were there other lessons that you learned that I probably didn't even know or that you thought of? Whatever you think, whatever your thoughts are, please leave them down below in the comment section. I want to hear from you. Please make sure to stay safe, stay clean, stay sanitized, stay at home. If you don't need to be out there doing whatever, if you can work from home, work from home. Just be safe, guys. Be safe. Subscribe to my channel. If you aren't, you are home, Abby.
check out my other videos how about that <laughs> binge my other videos check them out i'm sure you'll find them very entertaining and value adding thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i can't wait to see you again very very soon you know how we do it remain in god and god bless you Mwah.